bright. Okay. Bright, bright, bright. Was uh, one of the worst things I've ever seen in a very long time. Really? So I have lots of different thoughts on this and feelings, and they're going to be controversial to you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I'm ready. so before I saw it, there was a lot of bad hype. You yes. Know, in, like it was just ripped by everyone. Yeah. But right, it was still right, like, rightfully so. But it was still seen by like 12 million people in like the first few days. Yeah. So much so that they've already ordered a sequel. Yes. So I knew it was going to be bad going into it. I would be shocked. I don't know. I go back and forth about that because it's like, this one was so bad. I doubt people would watch it, but I think people are going to be so interested to see what they do differently that they're going to yeah. watch it. And there's going to be almost the same amount of people watching it. And Netflix is like, Oh, let's make a third one, even yeah, though the got, second one we is got a exactly. World built <laughs> yeah. yeah. But sorry, go ahead. So. So it, it was bad. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't as bad as I thought that it was going to be. And there were certain elements to it that I kind of were on board for. Yeah. Like, uh, okay. So I liked. To, okay, this here's controversial point number one. Okay. I kind of liked Will Smith in this movie. Well, Will Smith as, was Will Smith. Right. He He's, yeah, he's nothing different. He's nothing that you haven't seen before. But it wasn't, he didn't stand out as, as bothering me. And I liked the whole concept of him being a cop with a partner that is an orc. And then being cops in this fantasy world where there's all kinds of different races. I was on board for that. I just wasn't on board for the actual storyline. It, it was really dumb with the, the, the magic wands and whatnot. But if they made a movie or a show that was just like your, your typical cop show, right? But it was set in this world. I I I'm, I could possibly be on board for that. So before we necessarily get into the whole thing, one of the things okay. that you complain about all the time is how yes. as soon as you tell me a movie is good, I assume it's going to be bad. I yes. went into Bright about two days after talking to you about it, and you mm-hmm. told me, oh, it, it wasn't that bad. I kind of liked it. And so I was like, right. oh, maybe it's... Not as terrible as everyone thinks. And no, that, that should have made you think it's even worse than you thought. Well, yeah. That's what I found out. That's what okay. I, I was so upset with that's you. That's what I found out. <laughs> I was so upset with you for telling me that it wasn't that bad. And I went and watched this. And within the first few minutes, the fairy scene, I was so oh, the angry. Fairies. Yeah, th- I really hated <clears throat> the fairies. That was horrible. Yeah, so... This movie, the idea is it is a modern day fantasy story, right? So, uh, fantasy in the, the terms of something like Lord of the Rings or, um, Game of yeah. Thrones or something, something with these mystical elements, but the world has progressed to what the world is like now. Yep. I thought this movie was going to be about racial tensions between minorities and the police. And that it was going to be where Will Smith is working with this orc, who's the first orc to be on the police force, and them just having a lot of um, uh, conflict because of their races being different. And then that's yeah. what the story is going to be about. It was going to be a fantasy training day. Exactly. David Ayer directed training day. I don't know if you know that. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. That- okay. So that's fine. And, and if it was that, which is what I'm saying, like, it, I, I it would could be have okay been great. With that. Yeah. It could have been really, really good. But yeah, set, set in that world with those different <clears throat> classes and then it just being a cop show or a cop movie. I, I felt like that could have been watchable. It, um, it, I expected it to be, um, the Rick and Morty episode where they were police officers. 
you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where uh, Morty had become a police officer. What was that episode called? Uh, oh, I don't remember these names. I don't remember. Anyways. The Rick something. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's what I was kind of going into thinking it was going to be like. And, uh, nope, it was not that. It was just a, it was a basic, basic fantasy story. If you take well, away, if you take away the yeah. modern day element, mm-hmm. this is a terrible, boring fantasy story. Never would be made. Well, yeah. Yeah. And that's, that was the awful thing about it was all, all that. Like I, so like the first, 15 or so 20 minutes that's that's what i liked about it you know the the him having his home life be strained because of his partner and then them being partners this and that like well and how he's like getting dumped on by like his other human by the other human people because he's working with this orc he doesn't really have the choice all of that yeah the it I was like, that's when I started watching it, and I was like, okay, maybe this isn't so bad. But then, once they started the the, the wand, uh, whatever those things were, I was like, oh, the no, MacGuffin. Is that what it was? <laughs> well, MacGuffin is a, a a device that drives the plot forward that people need that can just do whatever. It's a, oh, well, a there you <clears> go. story element. But uh, what a terrible way to start this movie was him, his partner. Getting a burrito and then him getting shot. Yeah, and I feel like they never resolve that. No. Also, they didn't establish it. It just jumps straight yeah, it, into that. They should have either started. It did feel like I had missed something. Yeah. They should have either started with him getting to know, like with him being assigned that partner and then getting shot and then jumping forward in time. Or. Right alluding to him having been hurt and then that being told. But starting with that, you weren't sure. It was a weird jump. I wasn't sure if it was in the past, in the present, in the future. I didn't know where that happened in the story until right. much further on into the movie. And it was just, a, it was just a terribly written way to do it. Um, but, this whole movie, this, this movie makes me angry. I was so upset watching it. Um, it, it's all tropes. Every. Oh, it, yeah. If you take out the fantasy side of it, right? If you take out the orcs, you take out the elves. Yeah. These are just people. You have rich people, poor people, black people, Mexicans. This right. would be the worst movie ever because everything was tropey. Everything was. This, you know, this generic idea of this race. This race is like this. This race is like that. Poor people do this. Rich people do that. And it was like, just because they changed it to elves and orcs and to, you know, whatever, it made it more acceptable, but it's not. It's just so lazy and it's so frustrating to watch. And it made me, it made me ask. I, I asked on Twitter. No one ever. Gave me a good answer, but let's see if you have one. Can you name okay. a movie where a Mexican man is mm-hmm. either is something other than a farmhand or a gangster? Other Any movie, other than Ant Man, other than a Michael Pena. Really uh Jack Black is not Mexican. Uh, no, but his partner is. <laughs> <laughs> but like seriously, how many movies did you tell them they were the Lord Sheeps? <laughs> also, are you sure he wasn't a farmhand at some point? Uh he might have been. <laughs> but like seriously, how many I think times it's racist for you to assume that that character was a farmhand at some point in his life? <laughs> no, I just, I just meant in the movie. What did he do before he started wrestling with Nacho? Uh I think he was just a homeless just the homeless guy. Bozo. Oh, even better. <laughs> but like, I, I, Mexicans have become a very stereotyped, stereotyped, stereotypical, uh, type of person. Yeah. Like, especially the, the essay. Napoleon Dynamite. 
They, okay, that's one. But even that, like comedies. That's all I, that's all you need. Comedies are already so surreal. It doesn't really count. Okay, so we're talking about serious movies. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Cause this, this movie tried to take itself very seriously. And. Oh yeah, too seriously. I, I will agree to that. It had, um, it had a yeah. group of Mexicans who were just gangsters. You know what right. I mean? Like they just showed up and they're like, we want the wand because. I want to fix my legs because I had been shot at some point or whatever. It, right. It, it, it's so bad. So here, okay. <laughs> tell me, tell me what you liked about the movie. Other, so you like the concept, you like the world. I liked right? the world. The idea, and I liked the idea, the cop. The, yeah. The idea and the concepts of the movie are good. I will give you that. But what they did with them, is there anything that you liked what they did with it? No, not at all. It was all bad, right? Everything they used. It was all, 100%. Was terrible. I, and I, so like I said, I liked Will Smith's character, but it's nothing special. It's just, it's Will Smith. Yeah. And I liked, uh, what's the dude's name? Jacoby? Yeah, Jacoby. I liked that guy as a character. I thought he was a good contrast to Will Smith. But like he, you know, with the ability to be a good cop in a different way, it, it, like um, I guess like Training Day, except for that, that takes a different turn. But that uh, I I liked that character also. Um, but but what like I said, what what they actually did with the storyline, I did not care for. And spoiler alert: literally the second that they say. A human has a chance to be a bright, like one in a million. I'm like, okay, so Will Smith is a bright. Yeah, and that's. <clears throat> I was like, that is. I was like, as soon as that happened, I that was like, I did a very visible like eye roll. I was like, really? Yeah. Okay. Jacoby should have been the bright. Yeah, I okay. I kind of had thought about that up until that comment. Because they establish most elves. Or not most elves, but most brights are elves. Yes. Sometimes, one in a million, a human will be a bright. So a bright is someone who can use a magic wand. Yeah. Uh, That's it. Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> it's, it's stupid. That's uh, really all they can do, right? They can use, they can pretty much use a wand without dying. So they say, they make it, uh, the magic wand, they allude to it can do anything. Whatever you want. You want money, yeah. you want fame, you want power, whatever. Anything anything you can imagine you can have with this magic wand. All yeah. they ever show is them shooting out blasts. And yep. she they, she brought uh, uh Jacoby back to life at one point. But everything else is just a laser gun. You know, like Pretty much. There's no, uh, like, if if they didn't say you could do anything you want with it, you would assume, oh, magic wand is a laser gun and also can bring people back to life, but it will almost kill you. Like, it was poorly executed for sure. Yeah. Um. But okay, Jacoby. So here's, here's what I, Jacoby okay, should have been the first orc to be a bright. Like that, yeah. That's where the story. Jacoby should have been the hero of the story. Like that. I don't know why Will Smith. It had no business being Will Smith. No, Will Smith is too charismatic, and that's a constant problem. He. To be honest, knowing what I know and stuff that I've heard about Will Smith, it would not surprise me if he was like, "I am not doing this movie. I'm not doing any movie unless like I am the hero." Well, I mean, it makes sense. Like, like that's like that's not even a joke. Like, I legit believe that is probably something he does. Yeah, I believe it. Um, and then I don't even think that's the necessarily a bad thing. But the the filmmaker shouldn't cast him in this role. Yeah, find yeah, find somebody else. Um, and the same with Suicide Squad. He shouldn't have been, should have been Deadshot. Denzel Washington. <laughs> um, they like. And that's fine. Like, if he wants to be the leading actor, great. A hundred percent. Do that. 
but don't don't hijack a movie right you know like the this character should have been the the secondary it should have been jacoby's story and jacoby right. i think should have been the bright honestly i wish they didn't have the magic wands at all i think that was dumb i don't it didn't service anything i thought the the magic fbi was one of the dumbest lines in any movie i can remember oh, yeah. like that was pretty dumb it's just all, all it, any- I'll, I'll tell you something about the fbi too something that I, I, and it's probably something that no one else or not many people even thought of. Something that really disappointed me. So the two agents that are tracking this whole thing, yep. one of them is the elf. Yep. And one of them is just like a human, right? Uh-huh. I so badly wanted that dude to be like a giant. Cause he looked like a, <laughs> like a mini giant. I was like, please, cause like the first time, I'm pretty sure the first time we see him, he's like sitting down, right? Or he's, you see his head. And I'm like, he looks like he could be a giant. I'm like, please, once he stands up, let him be like 10 feet tall. And then when he wasn't, I was so disappointed. And every time I saw him on screen, I was like, ah, missed opportunity. (laughs) You are definitely the only person to be disappointed by that. I can't be the only person who thought that guy should be a giant. We, if I, I don't even know what I would do if someone told me that they were the second person to feel that way. I would. I would be shocked for the rest of my Anyone life. Anyone out there, please, I beg of you, if you've seen this movie and have thought that thought. Before before being influenced by Taylor r- right, is the before biggest. Before listening to this, then let me know. Because there's no but, way, no way anyone else is like, oh, I can't believe that guy wasn't a giant. What a missed opportunity. It, it, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 I'm not saying it's not a ridiculous thought. I'm just saying for some reason, when I saw him, my picture, I was like, oh, I bet this is a giant. And it just was not. And I was really disappointed. Well, so- he had like a big head. He had like a, like a big face. He had like big <laughs> facial features. He was a no. big guy in general. Yeah. He should have been a giant or a dwarf. So in this, in this universe, we have humans, orcs, yes. elves. Yes. Fairies. Elf. Fairies. And Mexicans. Cent- and centaurs. Is there centaurs? There's, there's one. No centaurs. We, yeah, there is. So there's one. We see him at a crime scene. I'm trying to remember which one. And he looks like a police horse, but then it's a person attached. Oh, okay. I, I must have missed that. You it's know. only for like two seconds, and that's the only guy. There's a few times where I was just yelling at my wife about this movie. Oh, yes. I believe that. Um. But, uh. I feel like there's something else. Fairies? Did you say that one? Yeah, I said fairies. So, one of the issues I had with this movie was they would not establish anything beforehand. And I, I think part of it was there's a lot to establish and, you know, it's, it's difficult to do. But they, they treated it like this is a developed world. There's a lot of depth. You have yeah. to just be on board. So, like, in the very first few scenes, in the, you know, first few minutes, uh, Will Smith is talking to his wife, and his wife is like, you need to go take care of that fairy. Like, it's, it's driving me crazy. You gotta go get rid of it. And the movie's like, with just that line, it's like, you know, jump on board now. You know, this is, this isn't the normal world. Get used to it. Get ready. But they use that same momentum or logic or lack of logic throughout the whole movie to where they're like, oh, no, this is a thing. Don't worry about it. Yeah. It's just a thing. Just accept it. This is how it happens. This is, you know, elves are magical parkour people. Like, just get used to it. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, it just, oh, it was so frustrating to watch because there was no... They didn't establish anything before they did it. They did it, and then they said, like, no, this has always been a thing. And that is mm-hmm. so annoying. Yeah, it, it it definitely could have been much better, and it, it wouldn't have taken much, I don't think. Just a few different things and no wands, and you got yourself a decent story. Yeah, you take out the wands. Because really, I mean, that was the whole story for this movie. Which is the- the the problem yeah you that ju- we th- there's only five percent that we wish this movie was based on 
<laughs> and not the other 95% garbage. <laughs> yeah. Because it, it really could have been interesting. You know, yeah. like the magic wand thing is dumb. It did not need to happen. You just have this world of orcs and, you know, elves and humans trying to coexist in the modern day and how that would all work. And there's so do you think so, that would play out better as a TV show than a movie? Uh, no, think of like not. a like a fantasy version of like the Shield. <laughs> I, I don't think so. I think it would be too much. I you think, think so. Yeah. Well, I feel like that was part of the issue with this movie in general was it was too bloated. There was that too it was much. A movie? <laughs> that it was even made. Yeah. There was just too much going on, and it was. I don't know. Like, do you know anything about Max Landis? Uh, not a lot. So not he, enough to really. He's the guy who wrote this. He also wrote Chronicle. Um, he wrote. Yeah, I. He he's written a couple things. He. Right. I, I don't know him personally. Obviously, uh, I've seen no. him online and in interviews and on. Uh, he I was, thought I introduced the two of you at a party. <laughs> he was on he uh, Screen Junkies quite a few times on their movie fights. Okay. And he just comes across as someone who is so full of themselves. And that's oh, what so this Will Smith. Uh, but worse because Will Smith is at least charismatic. That's what this movie True. felt like, you know? Like you watch it and you're just like, "Oh, this this thinks it's so clever. It thinks it's so interesting." And it's not. It's it's yeah. really it's really not. It's v- very basic. It's very simple ideas on race and, you know, that conflict. And it, it just feels like it's telling you like, no, no, I, I'm, I'm interesting. Trust me. I know I am. Yeah. I, yeah, I, 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 I can, I can, I can see that. Uh, Okay, so here's the other point I'm trying to get to. Yeah. Now, if this comes off as racist, <laughs> feel free to just cut this thing out. Nope. Because cause I am going to generalize a race. Okay, so in this universe, the orcs are like black people, right? Yeah. Basically, I think it was an idea. And... They have, and, and they don't like the police. Yeah. And they don't like that one of their own is a cop. Yes. But then there's also black people who don't like the police. Uh, because Will Smith's neighbors seem to not care for him because he's a cop. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just trying to see if that's, <laughs> is that what, like, if, if you're gonna, if you're going to go, that direction where the orcs are comparable to the black people and they, you know, they don't like the police, then all humans should be the same, you know, like you shouldn't also have the, the, the black people hating the police or the Mexicans hating the police. Like it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, yes. And I agree. And I disagree with you because I get what you're saying thematically. It makes sense. But it's right. also part of the reason why this movie is so bad was because it was so binary in their choices. Right. Like, oh, all the Mex- all the Mexican people in this movie are gangsters. All the orcs are poor. Right. All, you know what I mean? The, the gangsters should have just been another fantasy race. And they could have... Are you saying Mexicans aren't fantasy? Uh, Well, yes and no. I know... Okay, I've seen. No one believes me, but I've I've seen one before. <laughs> um, I always feel like I need no, to, to clarify what? anytime I say something possibly negative about Mexicans that I'm Mexican, but that's just because I don't look Mexican at all. Well, and that goes for my wife and children. Your children definitely don't look Mexican. Oh no, they look very white. Because I am very white. <laughs> but like, 
have it be like, you, like, like I was saying, inter- introduce like a, like dwarfs or something like that. And they could be like the stereotypical Mexican and they could have even played the, that. I, I, I like, it's hard cause I totally understand where you're coming from. I understand what you're saying. I don't like that there were like the, the class divisions as well as the race divisions. It was like, I, 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 I wanted one or the other. Yeah, it was very, uh, muddy, right? Like, it was very, so, you, the, race doesn't feel like the right word, um, species, maybe? Species, right? Or, I don't know. It's because the orcs and the humans and the elves were very defined, uh, classes. Right? Yes. Elves are the best. Which is fine. I'm, humans I'm fine with are in the middle. Elves are the rich people. And then, um, orcs are the worst. Like, yeah. there's very clear cut division between those three. But, you also have humans in this world that have more natural, uh, dividing lines. Like, more, yeah. more consistent with the actual world. And it doesn't make sense when you also add in the elves and the orcs into the, the hierarchy of everything. So it's like where, like the issue, my issue is not, and I think it's similar to your issue. It's not that I, I need black people to be poor and I need Mexicans to be poor, or whatever, anything like that. But it's the, the show, the movie is not giving you a, a clear understanding of what's going on in the world. Ex- yeah. Exactly. Because, they're acting like, oh, black people are poor, orcs are poor, Mexicans are gangsters. Like, there's just this weird, this, I don't know, it's, it's really hard because it's, it's not, I, I don't think I'm racist. I don't think that judging this movie on, in that aspect is being racist, but it, it feels very racist to be like, well, who is poor, who is not poor? Well, yeah, because it's like, okay, they, they have to, to show you where the orcs are, you know, on, on the, uh, the, the spectrum, the, the, the social spectrum or whatever. But then they're like, well, as for like the humans, just kind of what you already think they are. We'll go with that. Yeah. It's just, and like they don't establish, like, why am I, should, should we assume that, I, uh, I don't know. It's, hmm. It just felt very lazy. I, it was lazy, yeah. for sure. Um, but what would you do? How would you fix this movie? No wands. Just take out the wands completely? Uh, yeah, and you know what, to be honest, okay, so the actor Ike Barinholtz, right? I like him. I think he's funny, but I didn't like him in this movie. Wh- wh- who is that? He, didn't f- he was the one of the cops um, from the Mindy Project. Is that that guy? Yes. Okay. Like from Mad TV forever ago. So I know him mostly from the Mindy Project, and he's super funny in that. I don't know if you ever watched. Yeah, him. he's a no. Yeah, he's a funny guy. He looks like he could be a Wahlberg brother. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Like, <laughs> not quite. Maybe a cousin. Like, not on. Th- like, like, yeah, maybe like a half brother of Donnie Wahlberg. <laughs> um, but maybe he was, Baldwin he's also in there in Suicide Squad, which um, is, yes, he, uh, David Ayer also directed that, uh, which makes me think, oh, David Ayer cast Will Smith and that guy, but, oh, I'm sure. He is, every time I see him, I just see the character from the mini project playing a character, and it's very upsetting. Well, did you ever watch Eastbound and Down? Yes. So he was in that. Do you remember his character in that show? No. He was like the, the Russian baseball player. Oh, okay. Vaguely remember. I don't know. He, he's, he's a funny guy. He's in like, um, uh, what's that movie with Seth Rogen? The Neighbors movie? I didn't see that. I think one. it's just called Neighbors? Yeah. He okay. Well, either way, he's he's funny. I, I I like him. I didn't like him in this movie. I didn't. It didn't feel well. I, I couldn't buy into his character at all. His character didn't make any sense. He's no. just like 
Uh, you're working with that orc? My, my ancestors used to kill him by the dozens. I got no problem killing that guy. And they're just like, wow, that's aggressive to be screaming in the locker room. Like, yeah, it, it's just so, it was, the, the issue, my frustration, <laughs> I don't know. The problem with this movie is everything, every piece of dialogue was to establish that the world is deeper than what we're showing you. That the world is more complex and more interesting than what you're seeing. And when you do that as the entire movie, you're just going to frustrate your audience. Because right. it's like, well, no, I want to see the interesting parts. That's why I'm watching this movie. Don't tell me that the world is more interesting than what you're showing me. Show me how interesting the world is. Give me the depth that you are teasing me with. Don't just dangle it in front of me like, oh, yeah, look at this. Ha ha, this is so much more interesting than what you're looking at right now. Like, I, It's just, it's so bad. It's It's a terrible, terrible movie. It felt, yeah, I, it, it honestly felt like a hate us episode when I was watching this. It, it very well could have been like it. So, uh, yeah, here's some other issues that I had with this movie. Yeah. Uh, the, the girl who was the bright. Yeah. I don't, I, I feel like they had this like emotional, this like connection to her after knowing her for like, uh, you know, 10 minutes. Yeah. And then like, they're like, no, she's gone or whatever. I'm like, you didn't even know her. Yeah. Like, she, and she said five words to you. <laughs> um, so I didn't like that character whatsoever. Well, also, I, she should have used the wand so many times before the point she finally did. To kill the ones coming after her, yeah. right? Well, even, I, I kept, it, like, even just to protect them. Use it. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like, the, I was like, <clears throat> the difficulty with magic, in movies, if you do not have a clearly defined rule, which this did not, this told no, you, this no explicitly rules. told you, this wand can do anything, whatever you want, anything you can imagine, this wand can do. That's so broad. And then it's... you have people who can use it, who never use it, who are being chased and people are trying to kill them, and they're being attacked, never using this wand that can do yeah. anything that you want to do. Maybe you can teleport. Maybe you can freeze time. Maybe you can do things that don't necessarily kill someone else, but help save your life. Why are you not using this wand? And the, Especially when you can. You're one of the very few people who can use it. Yeah. Then use it. She So she saves Jacoby's life, right? And it almost right. kills her. And I think that that was only deadly or almost deadly to her because it's something in fantasy to where you do magic to bring someone back to life. It, it takes a huge toll. It has happened right. many times in different stories and, you know, different things to where it's like, no, this type of magic to combat death or whatever. Mm -hmm. Is going to almost kill you or like the potential is so great. That, yeah. that's why you don't do it very often. But if you're gonna, you know, break an engine in someone's car who's chasing you, that doesn't seem like that difficult. Like, do that. Right. Like, it just, oh, it's so bad. So the more I think about it, now I can even see the, the more, not parallels, but comparisons to Training Day, which you said was directed by the same guy. Yeah. But then there, okay, so then that will lead into another problem that I had with the movie. So there's actually a scene in this that reminds me of Training Day, right? Where, mm -hmm. so in Training Day, um, uh, what's the dude? Yeah, uh, Ethan Hawke. Yes, is his name right? Mm -hmm. He saves a girl from being raped, right? Yes. And then later on in the movie, he's about to be killed when it comes to find out that he's, you know. They are related to this girl that he saved, so they spare his life. Yep. Which kind also, of pretty much also happens in this movie. It also happens in Zootopia. Does it? Yeah. I... Have you seen Zootopia? You've seen Zootopia. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we we just talked about it. She, uh, sure. Officer Hop saves that mouse in Mouse Town from being oh, crushed yeah, yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, 
Zootopia. Is also directed by David Ayers. <laughs> Zootopia is a better version of this. Like, Zootopia, yeah. it basically, what you we want to see. You heard it here. Alan see. said Zootopia is a better version of Training Day. <laughs> Not Training Day, of Bright. We wanted to see the the mix of Zootopia and Training Day in this movie. And we got, basically and we got we Bright. Want. And we got Bright. So, so what I was saying, so that essentially happens, right? Jacoby lets the orc go yeah. when he realizes that he's innocent, knowing that he, he could have, he could have tried to explain that he had the wrong guy, but it wouldn't have mattered, right? He, he had to actually go out of his way to help the guy escape. That was, that was the only way the guy was going to live. And then come to find out he's in this group and he's been tasked to kill them. You know, as like his initiation almost. But then that doesn't save their lives. No. It, it just prevents that kid from having to kill him. That that I didn't like. It didn't make any sense. So, se- it, it, there was zero reason to put like, it oh, in Oh, this guy saved your life? Okay, well, you don't have to kill him. I'll kill him instead. Yeah. Like, like oh, thanks. I'm glad that paid off. <laughs> it added a layer to Jacoby's story to have him, you know, protect liked, that kid. And I liked I liked that, and I liked but, when because as soon as it showed the kid, I was like, "That's the same kid." I was like, "Oh, okay, this is gonna help them out of their situation." Well, no, it doesn't. It, it, yeah, it, it didn't. It, there was no reason to bring the kid back. That kid should have just disappeared forever. Jacoby got shot, and then uh, to to Takiti to. Whatever the elf's name was, save him. Tiki Masala. <laughs> yeah, like there's just they didn't need to act. Like this movie took extra steps multiple times that didn't make any sense. Um, like when at the end when the fire's happening and Jacoby and Ward are running out and they're together in one scene and then Jacoby runs out by himself and he's like, "Oh, huh? what happened?" Turns around, runs in, and then. Right at like instantly comes back out carrying Ward. It's like right. you're you're establishing, you're setting up this thing, this moment that you're gonna have where you know either Jacoby's gonna go back in and find him and you know struggle to get him out and all this stuff. But no, they cut all that out. They just do the establishing part and then the payoff. Yeah, it's pretty awful. And it's like and the the, the problem is I don't want this movie to be any longer. Yeah. You know, like I'm not, I'm not asking like, Oh, you, you left out all these scenes that would make it more interesting. No, you just put in a ton of establishing scenes and a ton of payoffs, but none of the middle stuff, none of the meat, none of the, the stuff that makes any of that stuff worth watching. There was, there was another thing that I, I felt like they didn't do. And maybe they, they were going to, and they didn't. So at the beginning or pretty much in the, in the, in the beginning area, uh, Will Smith is approached by internal uh, affairs, right? Cause they believe that Jacoby let the guy go on purpose. Yeah. The, the, the real shooter. So they want Will Smith to record him confessing. So they give him a recorder to do that. I could have swore that recorder was going to be what catches these other cops and, and freeze, you know, and clears Will Smith of, of shooting all of them. Yeah. Uh, and, and said, there's, there's nothing there. <laughs> it never happened. It never, Cause I was like, yeah. Never paid off. He's got to, he, I get, he's got to shoot these cops right now to save his life. Yeah. And try to find a way to explain it later. Can we talk about that scene be, real quick? When that's Will Smith. Be so difficult. Yeah. Will Smith oh, turns around and yeah, starts I, shooting them. His hand doesn't move. He's shooting at the same place over and over and over, but people are just falling down all over the place. It really here's, bothered me. Here's another point to that. Okay. Why did it matter who was standing where? Like what order? He's what? like, from left, from left to right, who is where? Blah, blah, blah. You're just going to turn around and shoot him from left to right. Why I, does it matter who was where? I think he wanted to take out the most dangerous targets first. Oh, okay. That's how I, I took yeah. it. Like, I don't know. I who, thought, I thought that who's going to be the best shot. Who's going to be the most reactive. 
you want to take out yeah. first and then work your way down. But it, no, it was all dumb. It was all stupid. It was, it was everything. It was the whole movie. I, w- I was down up until the point where they're in that room discussing killing Jacoby. Yeah. Like, so 10 minutes this in. This is, yeah. Well, yeah. Like I said, it's about <laughs> like, 10 to 15 minutes. I liked the rest. I did not like. That's when the, it took a turn for the stupid. Yeah. It was really bad. Yeah. Also, why did they need to kill Jacoby? To frame, they wanted a, f- yeah, I, they just hated him, I guess. That, that, no reason other than they just wanted him dead. I think so. I not, think they didn't not, trust not him. Not something like he saw them, you know, doing something they shouldn't have been doing and they need to get rid of him. They just want to kill him. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, the, it, it, it's stupid. It's just, it's just so lazy. Honestly, the writing was so poor. I, I, could only I don't buy know. Into something maybe, like that. Maybe it wasn't the, the writing. World was maybe it was Gotham, the way they like they directed 90% it. Of the cops are dirty. Maybe it wasn't the writing's fault. I don't know. But it. Uh, no, it, it's definitely the writing's fault. It just. It did not. And nothing was earned. Things just happened, and it was yeah. just not interesting. Yeah, I. It it could have been so much more, and then it was disappointing. And now with a sequel coming, I'm like, so what? Now we're gonna get a full movie of Will Smith being magical? That sounds awful. Well, he doesn't even like using the magic. <sighs> like, see, another reason for him to not even be the bright. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, you think in the part two, Jacoby's going to become the bright? That's what the whole thing is going to be about? Uh, I think that would also be stupid. <laughs> Whatever they're going to do is going to be stupid. I can't. It's going to be stupid. I can't imagine, like, if I could pick the best perfect idea for part two, there's nothing I can even think of that I would be like, oh yeah, that'd be worth seeing. Yeah, except for what we talked about this movie could have been. Well, that's but that's what I mean. Like, you can't even do that anymore. No, it's too late. Yeah. So. Uh, you know what they could do, though, is they could make that dude a giant. <laughs> I hope so. I hope for your sake, Will Smith zaps him with his magic wand and turns that guy into a giant. Yeah. And then, oh, that was the other thing. I also thought the, the leader of the orcs... We we're gonna find out. Oh, that's the guy who shot Will Smith. No, there's, there's oh yeah, no one, no uh, it was a random dude. They never paid yeah, off never who f- shot him. Never. Ah, awful. Yeah, it was all bad. Um, anything else about Bright? Um, no. Yeah, <laughs> that's. <laughs> I've said everything. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at I seen that pod. You can go over to Patreon and help us out if you want to support the show uh, by voting for Taylor or I. You can help decide who has to pay the punishments. At the time of recording this, we have done... I've had to have my legs waxed. Taylor has had to eat a chili pepper. Um, but you can help decide... And Alan has had to eat the birdie bots. Which we don't know yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm just really hoping. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so over on Patreon, you can help decide who is doing what. You can help us out. Um, and uh, we just want to say thank you to Boss Play, who is sponsoring our show. Uh, they're a big help to us, and we appreciate them a lot. Woohoo!